the line starts that way, all the way back there, then goes there, comes back a little bit here, and then goes back again. This is what happens when you visit the British Museum on a rainy day. How long do you think it's going to take? Hours. <laughs> Look at your funny face, happy face. <laughs> but if you want a guide to the museum, you need to buy. The simple map is two pounds. Visitor's guide, six pounds. This is a museum of human history, art, and culture, and it has some eight million pieces. This was the first national public museum in the world. As soon as you arrive, chances are you'll come right to this gallery, just like everyone else. The most important piece in the museum is probably this one right here, right by the entrance. This is the Rosetta Stone. It is very important historically because it contains inscriptions in various languages that help to decipher the ancient Egyptian language. Wow, a real sarcophagus. Thanks to Rosetta Stone, people now know it's written here. So we have umbrellas for the rain, but they had umbrellas for the sun. The British Museum was widely sourced during the era of the British Empire. The largest empire in history, really. For over a century, it was the main global power. Here they don't have just sculptures, it's the entire monument. This is a tomb found in Turkey. This is one of the most controversial sections of the museum where they have the sculptures from the Parthenon. When you see the Parthenon in Greece, it's basically stripped out of all sculptures. You know, it's almost like ruins. They're all here. And Greece wants them back. But there are arguments for both sides as some believe they are works of art on their own and here they can easily be admired while at the top of the Parthenon they can't. Here at the museum we really go for a tour around the world. Now we're in ancient China. This was an incense burner. The room at the moment is by far the easiest. This game was so popular in Mesopotamia, today's Iraq, that it used to be buried with people. Really popular game for 3,000 years. This is showing that uh, people were buried with objects. 
This would help with their journey to the afterlife. So just to explain what that was, all that was just to show a thorn that was right in the middle. And that thorn was supposedly in the crown of thorns that Jesus wore when he died. The museum is free and totally amazing. Now, you need to know where to go because it's really big and uh, otherwise you get totally lost. So do some research in advance. Find out the areas that are more relevant to you or those that you'd like to see. Um, there are apps also that you can download, but I didn't find any free one, only paid. So instead, you can also come here and they sell guides, they sell maps. Just a simple map that they suggest a two pound donation. That's the one they use to see the most important points here, the most important collections, those that you absolutely cannot miss. When we got in, it was cold and rainy. We got out to this beautiful day. It was 19 minutes to walk or 15 by subway. We chose to walk. And here we are, British Library. Here they allow you to come in with a carry-on as long as it fits here. Here they have an amazing collection of historical documents that unfortunately you cannot take pictures. You see letters from historical figures like Mahatma Gandhi, handwritten notes from Da Vinci. There's a huge missile, which was a book used to celebrate masses in the 1400s. And the book alone weighs 20 pounds. But the most important thing I'd say is the Magna Carta. It's from 1215 and contains the cornerstone of British constitution, guaranteeing individual liberties. Feeling like pizza today? Sure, whatever. Whatever you want to do. Oh, baby. Lots of places to eat here. We tried two pubs, but guess what? There's a football match on TV, so forget it. We're in England, right? <laughs> we'll end up having pizza. Great, thank you, thank you. Can't go wrong with the pizza, huh? It was delicious. <laughs> wow. We came in on the other one. Yeah. So it's set by number nine. Okay, platforms nine and ten that way. Let's keep going. Look at how beautiful this station is. As we were so close, why not, right? This is King's Cross Railway Station. But a lot of people come here not to catch any train, but just because of Harry Potter. This is where you find a famous trolley by the wall. It's right there, platform nine and three quarters. It's really between platforms nine and ten here. And there's a huge line of people wanting to take pictures. Seriously, look at the size of this line. Professional photographer. Wow, this is professional. I want to see you jump. to take a picture here now for 15 pounds you can skip the line the trolley is right beside the harry potter store <laughs> wow. 
The remote control wand is 60 pounds. That is so cute. up discovering a storage here for luggage right beside a Harry Potter store if anyone ever needs. Riding my bus also has its advantages. By underground you don't see anything. But now we're having a really good view of the city right here at the top above everyone. Pay the bus using the same Oyster card from the underground or Apple Pay, Google Pay. That's our choice. Thank you. Okay, let's go back home now. Oh wow, don't even need to ask where's the train. time we got the Heathrow Express back to the airport and it was amazing really 15 minutes from Paddington fantastic but once you arrive there's some walk to do they even provide cards you know to carry luggage so it's a good help terminals 2 and 3 are the closest there was a no gentleman there and <laughs> just kids go look right Oops, yeah. <laughs> now, look left. Okay, go. This was the last vlog in this trip to England, but if it's the first one that you watch, take a look at this playlist here that I'm linking above. There are lots of videos from Manchester, Birmingham, Stratford upon Avon, Warwick, there's Nottingham as well. Take a look, you're gonna like. If you like this video, let me know so that I can create more like this. And if you want to see more travel vlogs from other parts of the world, subscribe to the channel so that we can meet more often. Bye. Yeah, we will.